Hello, welcome to this video. We had a question from uh, MP, one of our first subscribers. Hey, hey, hey thanks for subscribing. subscribing. Did he actually subscribe? I'm not sure, but he commented on one of the videos. Well, he commented on one of the videos. He's excited to see our multiplayer games. Yes, as are we. <laughs> as are we, our tutorials on multiplayer games. So, uh, we got asked a question, Unity or Unreal, basically. Like, he asked, why are you guys using Unreal Engine? Well, uh, great question. Great question, because I see this a lot on the internet. Yeah. And it's 2021, and uh, yeah, so the... <laughs> and I feel like most of the videos that compare Unreal and Unity are more fact-based, but for us it's more like, how do we use Unreal Engine, and why yeah. do we use Unreal Engine? This is, the, we are just sharing our experience. This is not like you should, one is better than the other. That's not the discussion or not the talk that we're having. We're telling you our experience. So first of all, we do have Unity experience. We actually built this entire multiplayer shooter game with Unity. <laughs> Um, it was a lot of hassle, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, just when you when you download Unity, when you look at the editor versus the Unreal editor, in my opinion, Unreal editor is just more clean looking, uh, more more clear, and as modern well. Looking also. Modern looking, looks like 2021, in my opinion. If you start up Unity, it looks like 2012. I think it could use That's a little just, visual update. Yeah. Now. They, they give you the, the gray version for free, um, which I don't like, and then you have to manually uh, convert yeah, the engine so it looks black. The, or you have hack to, a file or, or something. You, yeah, hack a file, I did it, it was not friendly. <laughs> no. or, you have to, uh, or, you, or you have to actually buy the, a, a license, right? Unreal Engine doesn't do any of that nonsense. They basically give you the entire engine out of the box, all the tools that you need completely for free. So it's that's the same for everyone, and whether you're a triple A studio or just yeah. starting out by yourself. You get the exactly same engine. It's completely open source. Um, you, you can you can yeah completely customized engine if you want to, but that's advanced stuff. Let's talk about indie users here. So uh, for me as an indie user, when I started out with Unity, the first tutorial that I did is that little ball tutorial. And you, you get straight into programming. So you have to write a little script and you get a rolling ball. So that, that's my Unity experience there. Then when I start up Unreal Engine, my experience is, whoa, there's this cool looking 3D robot guy. And they give you a free third person template that you can walk around this all third person a working camera, you get a first person, you get a flying car, a rolling physics ball, you get you a see car, how everything works. You get a car and you can you can reverse engineer all yeah. those templates and th those are a great head start. Then on top of that, Unreal Engine documentation is triple A quality documentation. It's so clear there's great community tutorials on Unreal, a lot of users. So that's, that's a plus for me. Yeah. I know there's a lot of uh, documentation on Unity as well, a lot of tutorials, so that, that's all the same. But what it all comes down to for me, and the main option that I, the main reason I mean that I use Unreal Engine is the visual scripting. So Unreal Engine uses Blueprint visual scripting, and me starting out as a non-programmer, I didn't even know what variables were. That's how I'm, <laughs> how I'm not much of a programmer. Yeah, I was pretty much zero. I came from uh, designing. Both of us were yeah. like designing basically, and then. Uh, and then starting out with Unreal, I dug straight into a multiplayer tutorial series back in 2016. And my experience with that is that it was so easy to understand. You can visually create anything you want. It doesn't look that scary to me or like it didn't uh, look yeah. scary at all. So, so you pretty much started with the most difficult thing out there and it was pretty easy. I to started do. with the pretty with the hardest thing out there and I had uh, the, the first tutorial series of multiplayer done in two weeks. And and that, that leads your me- first time ever as my first time ever. The ever. Software, it's pretty good. We were able to connect to each other. Yeah. And that was <laughs> like in 2016, that was like, oh. Google okay. makes it look so easy, even though usually it's, for, yeah. Unreal, for, for Unity, for example, it will be way more difficult because you have to use third-party softwares like Photo. Like uh, Photo Unreal, matchmaking, yeah. Everything is built into the engine yeah. so, like so, straight away. Yeah, so that gets us to the second point, like official scripting point one. Second point why we use Unreal, it's fully multiplayer supported out of the box, which means you don't have to use any third-party plugins to make a multiplayer game. You can you can just use the straight in-engine stuff and, uh, and, and the entire engine is built around multiplayer. The entire structure of the engine is built around multiplayer. And that's what we are really into. We are not really about making 2D pixel story games. We are about making multiplayer experiences and we need a robust 
quality system for that, which is easy. So like a multiplayer games, it has so much uh, components. There's so many different, it like has when so you make many a, different aspects, right? When you make a single player game and you want to make it multiplayer, it takes like 20 yeah. times the amount of work and thought yeah. into it to make it multiplayer. Yeah. Also make it work. Yeah. And, and then, and then the fact that Unreal delivers this out of the box and gives you great documentation on how to make this stuff, great community tutorials. Uh, it's just amazing. So yeah. that's, that's the main reason that we use Unreal Engine, right? Yeah. And, um, and then there's a, a little difference also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you start up Unity for the first time, graphics in there, in my opinion, are like 7 out of 10. And then when you look at Unreal Engine straight out of the box, my opinion it's like 10 out of 10 you get this great demo scenes lighting is beautiful everything that you import looks beautiful ow, 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 ow. out of the box so it's a lot less and it hassle. doesn't take a lot of work to make it look good yeah for, for unity you can probably achieve something that looks quite the same but it takes a lot of post-processing and, and messing with all the lighting to kind of get <laughs> it looking the same way it does in unreal yeah so unity is kind of cringe guys robot heaven i see it <laughs> don't choose Unity, don't recommend it. <laughs> no, I'm not a, <laughs> but I am an Unreal fanboy. And uh, I mean, if you're yeah. using a Unity right now, I would say give Unreal a shot and see, make, try to make the same thing. For example, a rolling yeah. ball and see in which engine you get the same result the first. Like, how long does it take to make that ball rolling? Yeah. I bet well, you it's I, I, totally I, I, easier than Unreal. I can tell you in Unity, you have to follow this little tutorial. In Unreal, you start it up, there's a rolling ball template. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty easy. It takes yeah. like one minute maybe. But then on the side, um, the other thing for me that plays an important part is if you look at both companies, like Epic yes. Games is worth billions, billions, billions of dollars. It's a proven, uh, like proven again and again, proven company. They have games like Fortnite and, and those are all made with their own engine. Now name a game that's made with Unity uh, by the Unity team. Does Unity have a Fortnite? No, they, they don't have a Fortnite. Like they got great games like Rust is made with Unity, which is great. Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Phasmophobia is a fun game. It's not like triple A quality. It's a really simple so, game, but it's a fun game. Yeah, point of the whole story is um, Unity can can do great, you, you can get a great job done in Unity. Uh, in my opinion, everything is faster and easier to achieve with Unreal and also more for me. Uh, do it if yeah, to use. Manageable, manageable as well. The yeah. whole the whole engine looks more clean, clear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Visually, it just looks great and easy to understand. Yeah, you can have a good hierarchy of your files, your content folders. It's easy to package your game, to test it with your friends. There, it's, it's also a great community of dedicated developers. Everybody is serious. There's great like Discord servers, Unreal Slackers, where you can chat to each other. You can also join our Discord server. We also support Gecko Discord server. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and, and just the forums, the whole staff of Unreal. I believe Unreal really helps out their community. No, I don't think I can add, add much more to this. No, I think uh, I for think us it's a clear choice. Easy. Yeah, Unity is cringe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Unity. <laughs> so, if you are a Unity user and you disagree with us, then leave it down in the comments. And uh, I would sure like to read about it. Not that I care much because I, I made my mind up and uh, I'm happy with my workflow. So um, that's it guys, enjoy the rest of our videos that are coming. Yeah. We're working on an epic thanks game. This is gonna, gonna be, be uploaded great. Saturday or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Or yes. Monday. No, hopefully Wouldn't. not Monday. And um, still have uh, some work to do on that. Still have some work to do on that. Not too much, but wow. we'll get it done. And that's it. Hopefully you will follow us, give us a like, subscribe. Maybe hit that bell. I don't know. Does anybody actually hit the bell on YouTube? I only hit the subscribe button. Me too. I think that's enough for me. So, uh, and if you dislike us, you're a Unity fan, then uh, yeah. dislike. <laughs> we'll see how many Unity fans there are uh, by the bus dislike button. Let us know, guys. We love the entire gaming uh, scene. So, uh, okay, that's it. Goodbye. Ciao. Ciao.